Hello guys, I uh, just thought I'd make a video, I'm having to kind of keep it down, my family's asleep, so I hope y'all can hear it good enough. I cut the volume a little bit down, I was told there was some bad feedback. I hope this sounds better, if not, I'm going to try to rework with this thing and see if I can get it right. But um, right now I wanted to talk to you about something that is really bothering me, and it's, it is basically about this. Um, it is about hair loss. Um, I had a real hard time when this hit me at 23 and I believe, I still believe if you haven't seen my medication videos about what I went through, I still think the medication is what caused this. Um, and it's it was a hard time for me and that's why I put this picture up here so you could kind of see what um, I kind of look like I look worse than this but don't worry but um, I just can't stand looking at myself you know because I had beautiful hair and it's gone and uh, and I believe most of it was because of the drug uh, I believe because I was having so many things happening to me at the time that I started losing the hair in just globs, you know, coming out. And uh, I still think it had something to do with it, causing it. Um, I don't know that, but I got a pretty good hunch. And that's why I put this picture on here. Um, when this happened to me, I just I didn't know what to think. I was so depressed, and no one seemed to care around me. I remember it was almost like, "Why are you so depressed?" Oh, I don't know. Could it be I have no hair? You know, like you can read online that men really go through a lot of depression from this, and um, I went through it. And uh, a couple of years ago, I was able to get one transplant done, but it, it's not enough that you can even. You know, you can even tell. I mean, you'd I'd have to get at least another one done in the front to cover up uh, the basically the baldness. Um, it's it's difficult. You know, uh, I get frustrated. I get irritated. Um, I'd like to be able to get at least two more transplants, but it's so expensive. Like I can't afford it. Um, one more maybe, and that's a big maybe, but two, three more, no, it's, it's too much money. Um, and like I said, with my teeth being destroyed too because of the meds, I think that was a major reason my teeth were wiped out. Um, I've just been through a lot. And, um, what I want to talk about is I don't think men, if you're just around women, because you have to remember my father died. When I was young, how much sympathy he would have had, eh, you know, probably not much at all. But because uh, he never went through any of these things until he died. I mean, other than the cancer, really, he never had many problems in his life. And I mean, I know that's a big, you know, it killed him. But I mean, you get what I mean. Um, he didn't have a lot of problems like I did. Um, I suffered, you know, a lot in my life being born with autism, which hurt me with women. I mean, there was no way, you know, I could have dated and done anything. And then, basically, um, losing my hair later on, the teeth, I was very, I'm very short, you know. It's amazing I'm, I'm not suicidal, really. Um... Just really, really down. Uh, and the thing was, whenever I would be like, um, you know, why are you depressed? I'm losing my hair. Well, so I want to just shave it off, you know. But it was like they didn't care. You know, I'll just shave it off. Well, they never thought about how bad I looked that way. I'm mean, now like a chemo patient. Um, and they never thought about it. They never cared, you know. And all I wanted was, I, mean, I don't expect them to, you know, sit down and cry with me daily, but there was no compassion and I think maybe that's part of why I go online and make videos like this. I probably shouldn't, but I guess I just want some sympathy. I just I just want some kind of 
love, some kind of care, because it was almost like, oh, he's a man, he, you know, he can deal with it. Like, excuse me, like, you know, I don't have problems, or I'm just a man, I don't have feelings, I don't, I don't, you know, that's, which is why, you know, whenever you see me, I'm wearing a hat, and I'm not wearing a hat right now. Um, it's just really depressing, and there's no, what, nothing I can do about it, and, um, I guess I just, you know, I, I think men don't get sympathy for anything uh, with women a lot. I know I never did. Uh, women were not mean to me, but I started noticing, like, in my family, there was no sympathy. Uh, it's like, well, he's a man. Uh, he's just a man. And whenever something happened that I did wrong, oh, you're just like your father. No, I'm not like my father. I'm really nothing like him. Um, I look like him, and that's about it. But, um... Yeah, when I lost my hair, it was uh, it was tough, you know. I don't really know what else to say much in this video. I just kind of wanted to mention about, you know, no one really worrying about what you go through and nobody really caring about the suffering that you have. Um, I think that's why I'm such a loner, because no one ever cared. Um, you know, no one ever seemed to really worry about my life. And um, I think I've just done so many things on my own. I wish, that's why I always joke about, you know, winning the uh, winning the lottery. Because if I won it, and I had the money and the means, uh, excuse me, I'm coughing, uh, money and the means to take care of myself, I'd do it. I mean, I'm stuck in this now, you know, my stress level's very high, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing a little bit better, but I've been very depressed. Um, part of it's, I'm still in withdrawal. My body hasn't healed from everything I went through, but, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I'm just in a bad way right now. I don't look in the mirror, like I said, I don't look in the mirror anymore. I never do that. I mean, there's no point. All I do is put a hat on when I go anywhere anyway. Um, but, so I don't worry about fixing hair, you know, or anything. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it was a tough situation for me. Um, anybody else going through the same things? I'd love to hear how you dealt with it and, you know, wasn't easy for me and still ain't. But, nothing I can really do about it short of transplants and like I said, I can't really afford that, but I guess that's all I got to say right now. Um, any comments you have, I'd love to read them. Thank, yeah, thanks, guys. Bye.